ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann with the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 11th day of December. And even at this hour, we're still debating on how much snow will fall, where will it fall, uh, when will it end, travel problems, all of these questions, and let's see if we can come up with some answers together here. So let's go right to some Skycam shots. And uh, we'll start with one of the Skycams down at uh, Channel 7 in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Are you kidding me? That was the scene about uh, 7 o'clock this morning. Heavy snow falling down in Hattiesburg. Uh, we'll look at the Gulf Shores sky cam and understand it's been mostly raining down there, but we have had reports of snowflakes in Gulf Shores within the hour. Uh, it's, it's colder down there than it is here because of the cold core upper low coming across there. And this is a sky cam over in Newton, Mississippi. That is about uh, 30 miles west of Meridian. Uh, they have seen some pretty decent snowflakes earlier today, but so far uh, no serious accumulation. We notice a little bit in the grass down there. But the better band of snow is still off to the west of there. Let's go right to the uh, upper level look here. This is the water vapor satellite imagery. And the 500 millibar chart, the upper air low is over southwest Alabama. And uh, again, underneath that coal pool is where the snow has been falling over Louisiana and Mississippi. Uh, big snows in Baton Rouge, uh, Morton, Mississippi, snowflakes in New Orleans this morning. And how that thing behaves in the next six hours is the key to our snow chances. And will it phase up for snow? First off, the surface temperatures. And again, you can clearly see how the uh, cold air has taken over 30s over a large part of Mississippi and Louisiana. But you go over to Dothan and Eufaula, and they're sitting uh, in the mid to upper 50s over there. But the cold air is going to win the battle. By the way, one more shot. Uh, that uh, image there came, I think, from Baton Rouge early this morning as the snow started to fall there. Now, we'll look at the uh, radar composite, and again, you can see back on the back side of the trough that uh, kind of a deformation axis and the heaviest precipitation setting up from uh, near the Louisiana-Mississippi border uh, all the way up through Jackson and then back up to Tupelo and then northwest Alabama. Got a flash flood warning, by the way, for Lamar County, Alabama. And then it uh, tapers off up into Tennessee. Uh, there's a look at the uh, Jackson radar. And really, most of that along and south of Interstate 20 is snow. North of Interstate 20, a lot of that is rain. And remember, this is a primarily a dynamic cooling event. So let's look at the upper air charts. This is at 500 millibars, and you can see the core of the upper low is over southwest Alabama, really between Camden and Monroeville. And it is very cold, obviously, in the core of that. Now let's look at the uh, key level for snow, and that's 5,000 feet. This is 850 millibars. And you see those dashed blue lines. That is where the atmosphere should be cold enough for snow. Uh, and again, this is at uh, 1 o'clock, and uh, uh, you, you want to see temperatures at that level at or below freezing. We've got them from near Utah to Demopolis to Camden to Atmore and points south and west. Now, that cold air aloft will be spreading northeast during the course of the uh, next uh, six hours. So, But again, you can clearly see it just looks to us that the Better low-level atmospheric uh, temperatures for snow will be along in south of Interstate 59. Yeah, the heaviest precipitation will be up in northwest Alabama like we've talked about, but uh, this morning about uh, 9 o'clock we made that shift in our forecast for the better chance of the snow accumulation to the south of Interstate uh, 59, mainly for that reason, uh, for the fact that that's where the uh, better dynamic cooling will be. So... Again, we'll watch it unfold together, and, and we'll have updates on the blog, but uh, we're still saying one to three inches in the grassy areas. Roads ought to be fine because uh, the roads are just going to be wet. And that's the deal here. So let's – and by the way, there should be a strip of heavier snow in there, understand. Where that's going to be, we'll find out. We just have to watch for radar trends tonight. Uh, parts of Mississippi have picked up well over five inches of snow here. Same thing could happen down through, through maybe west, central, or central Alabama. We'll see. Now, tomorrow it's all gone. Uh, the uh, trough weakens and lifts out down at the surface. will be sunny and cool. The high close to 50. Saturday, beautiful day, sunny with a high in the mid-50s. Sunday, the wind's out of the south. We should be close to 60. The sky partly sunny. We'll leave it dry. Monday, it's a battleground. Warm ridge in the gulf. Cold trough out west. And uh, down below that, uh, you can see the cold air. It's a 1,044 millibar high over Montana. Cold front from near Indianapolis down to... Uh, Wichita Falls, Texas, but the front this time is going to hang up. 
It's going to run into the ridge, and it just can't make much progress. We might see a shower Monday, isolated at best. Same thing Tuesday. The front hangs up just north of here, and Wednesday, the front drifts into North Alabama. So we'll mention widely scattered showers Monday and Tuesday, a better chance Wednesday with that front. We'll go out uh, four more days, December 21st. That looks like a nice rain event, if that's right. Big trough sweeping in with rain, maybe some storms. And then Christmas Day, once again, very consistent model output. The westerlies way up north. We stay relatively mild, and that suggests a dry, uneventful, quiet Christmas day in the weather office, if this is right. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.